Hi, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be reading the book Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. And the person who did the picture as the illustrator is Axel Scheffler. All right, today I'm going to be providing aided language input using the word power, power vocabulary on a word wall poster from Zotello. Okay, let's take a look at our book. I wonder, what is it about? I see a witch and a cat, and they are on her broomstick flying in the air. And she has a big black cauldron. So that's a big black pot that you use to cook over a fire. I wonder what will they do in our story? Let's open our book and we'll read and find out. Room on the broom. There's the witch's hat, but it is not on her head. It fell off. Ooh, and we have leaves that are falling down and her hat again, the wand that she was holding. We have a bow and her broomstick. They're all in the air and they're falling down. Oh, we have somebody new in our story. There's a little bird. Room on the broom. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair. That means her hair is kind of a reddish, reddish orange color. In a braid that was down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the kit cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. It fell off. Oh no! What will they do? Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws, which is his mouth. Oh, he helped them. He dropped it politely, which means nice, and then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. So now we have our cat, our witch, and the dog, and look, the dog now is the one who has the big black cauldron. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow 
from her braid just like that. Oh no! First it was her hat and now it's the bow. They keep falling off. What do we think will happen? If you look over here, they give us a hint. The bow's falling down. And do you see the eyes in the tree? Who might help them, I wonder? Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said to the witch, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Okay, let's look at our picture. We have our witch. Now the cat, the cat was in front, but now she's behind the witch. And there's the dog holding the black cauldron and the bird is up above them. They're gonna go somewhere. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched, which means to hold on tightly to her bow, but she let go of her wand. Oh, now it's gonna fall down. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Uh-oh. But if we look at this picture, they're going to give us a hint again. I bet it's some kind of water animal that might help them. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. So a cloak is like a big overcoat. It doesn't have sleeves and you wear it whenever it's cold and like rainy outside. I am a frog, he said, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Are they gonna go somewhere different? The broom snapped in two. Oh no. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half 
broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch, she heard a roar that was scary and loud. <gasps> What's in that cloud? Yikes! I am a dragon as mean as can be and which with french fries taste delicious to me. That means good. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. <laughs> Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes. That means like a shine. And he said, just this once, I'll have a witch without fries. Oh no. I hope somebody comes and helps her. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, and feast is a big meal, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had Four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon buzz off that's my witch mm. it looks scary The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside his belly. Oh, she is so happy because they helped her. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, which is like a smile, find something, everyone. Find something and throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. That's so silly. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. So in order to stir, it's when we have a spoon 
and we turn it around and around to mix everything together. And while she was stirring, she muttered or said a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out, rose, hmm. What do we think is gonna come out of her big black cauldron? Let's make a guess. I think that since all of these characters like to fly, maybe it might be an airplane for them to fly in. What do you think? All right, let's turn our page and we'll find out. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch, the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. And they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. I would like to ride on a broomstick like that. It looks comfortable. They look like they have movie theater seats and then they get to go fly. How fun. Oh, do you remember our story and what happened? First, the hat fell off. Then the bow fell off. The wand fell down. And then our broomstick, oh, that was a problem. It snapped in two when the frog jumped on it. But the friends helped each other and now they are happy to be together. Okay, there's the end of our story. I hope you liked reading it with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the bell down below next to the subscribe so you get alerts for new videos. And if you like this video and would like to see more of me reading the book and providing aided language input, check out my playlist over here. Thank you so much for watching.